Think about who, what, when, where, how, why. When you live your life a certain way, you have a certain mind state, you know, diet and DD, certain nutrition, and they have technology where they can manipulate your mind state to some degree, and they can manipulate the distribution of nutrients in your body, especially over time, to create a certain look. That's how they manipulated my look to some degree. But you can still look and see the beginning that they started with, and you see the kind of facade that they've injected. So let's look at look at Aaliyah, right? She's known for wearing those sunglasses called Lokes. Aaliyah is, is something to do with a trip either to Israel or away from Israel, right? It's, it's, it's a Jewish word, you know? And she resembles me to a certain degree except for she has those set features. Look at her features carefully, right? She looks like a jackal, right? Usually a lot of times they have more pointy nose, right? Their ears are pointy. Like when you look at it, they've made it so I look somewhat like them. My ears have a certain way, but it's a thin line between that and Narmer's ears. And there's a thin line, you know, we talk about gnomes, right? Gnomes, you know, gene expressions. Why do the Chinese look Chinese? Why does white look white? Why does a typical African-American look like the typical African-American? It's gene expression. So when you're in charge of social engineering, you look at this thing and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Who is like them? Like in the Bible, when it said about the Antichrist, who can wage war with him? Who is like him? Who can wage war how? Right? Satan is the god of the flesh kind of thing, the material realm, the god of this world, the material realm, also said of the air. He fumes people. So can I wage war with the New World Order, with the West, you know, with, 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 with China, with Israel? No, not with the New World Order. Okay? So who can wage war with them in terms of fleshly? You know, nobody can. The New World Order is here. You see what I'm saying? Where you look at it in terms of spirit, who can wage war with God? So obviously the top martial artist is the top martial artist in principle, in spirit, in terms of uh, spirit, spirit, spirit as in spearing something. Okay, light contact, the light of God versus the Luciferian light. Outdoors versus indoors, right? Outdoors in nature, natural, versus uh, uh, unnatural abominations in indoors. Okay, and of course, what are the rules, right? Who's, the, who's being challenged, right? You know, Goliath said, I challenge all of the Israel. He didn't say, I only challenge a privileged group of people and let's do indoor fighting in a way that favors privileged ninnies. He said, everybody, just like I challenge everybody, but ex except for this is the truth. This is like um, uh, uh, Elijah challenging the prophets of Baal. He said, I challenge you people and made fire come down from the sky. And of course, it's a metaphorical story. It's symbolic. It's figuratively speaking. That didn't actually happen. And that's one of the difference between me and the Satanists and Luciferians. They'll argue that it actually happened, and they'll expect you to believe their technology if they recreate something like that. Okay? So we say, who's like who, and what spirit are they in? We look at Monica and Brandy. They're in a kind of slutty Hollywood spirit. Name one person in Hollywood who's not part of a kind of Jezebel slutty Hollywood spirit. I put some pictures that prove my point on that very well, at least at this point, before they edit it, if they edit it. Okay? I'm going to put a picture with me, and they edited it a little bit already. How I used to look before the glasses, you know, a more healthy face, more martial art face. I wasn't, I didn't have that chub, I didn't resemble cops and military, I didn't have that kind of Muppet liberal look. Did, they, they added a little a degree of that because they're fucking stupid, okay? But if you look carefully, you can see the truth and you see their bitch ass fucking saboteur nonsense. And when you hear my argument, you know that I'm telling the truth, okay? There's going to be a time, and it's very shortly, when you won't know who's telling the truth about these kind of things, I'd imagine, because of the trajectory of psychology and technology, etc. That's why God would not expect you to do the right thing after I die, therefore you're sealed in hell. If God can't expect you to do the right thing after I die because of tech, mind control, ill gotten gain, breeding, so on and so forth, okay, then there's no moral path, you're sealed in hell. Okay, and if you sit there and you think that Monica and Brandy and these ninnies are above me, then you're one stupid, except the mark, the scale, the boundaries, the marks in school. Okay, the levels, uh, the degrees, the thinking of the beast. It's fucking retarded to think that some dime a dozen celebrity whores are above the most righteous guy ever. You're basically saying the world, what the devil assigns to bitch ass cowards that roll with them is greater than the true spirit of God pinpointing moral precision and being the top martial arts. And that's fucking retarded. How many of you would stand up in church and say, nonsense, Bezos is greater than Jesus? Then why the fuck would you say that to me in any form or fashion, including rejecting me if I, if I approach you or communicating that you reject me? Fucking despicable.